I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make his boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. In the name of Jesus, welcome, welcome, welcome to the broadcast Word on a Mission. I am Francis Cor from Southside, Alabama, and we are so glad that you tune in to this broadcast. We are excited today because God is so good. I mean, he is awesome God, and He what he's doing in the earth for such a time as this. And today, we are talking about what we have because of the blood. Oh, my God. The blood that flows from Calvary's mountain to the lowest valley. The blood that gives us strength from day to day. That shall never lose its power. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. It is the day that you have made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. All because of the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. We give you praise and we give you glory for that he did it for us that no other blood could satisfy us or satisfy you. So we thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the shedding of your blood, for the forgiveness of our sins. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today I'm so excited. And not only just today, but every day, because of what the blood is and what it has done for me. As we go to our scripture today, from 1 Peter 1 and 18 and 19, for as much as you know that we are not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Jesus as a lamb without blemish and without spot. You see, he shed his blood for us. He didn't know any sins. Neither was there any guile found in his mouth. But he was made sin unto us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. And apart from him, we are nothing. Apart from him, there is no salvation. Apart from him, we don't have all that we need. But in him, we have everything. And of all the things, the times that I count dearest to me, is the blood of Jesus. All the possessions, the everything that I have, no money, no riches, no earthly thing is precious. As precious as the blood of Jesus. It comes without price. And as I read the above scripture, and, and then the ones that we are going to go into, talking about this blood, I get excited. And you'll get excited if you have a relationship with Jesus to think about the blood. And we have, through the blood of Jesus, by faith, we have peace. That's number one I want to give you. We have peace with God. Colossians 1 and 20 says, Jesus willingly took our place. Nobody made it, but he he willingly did it. He took upon himself the form of a man in the flesh condemn sin in the flesh that we might have peace 
with God. See, he came in the flesh and condemned sin in the flesh so that we can have peace with God. He didn't just throw us away. He didn't damn us, which we could have. He had all the rights. God had all the rights to do it. But through his son, Jesus, he see us through the blood. Hallelujah. And we are enjoying that peace today. Peace in our hearts. Peace in our minds. Peace that surpasses all understanding. That keeps our heart and mind toward Jesus Christ. All because of the blood. Then, because of the blood of Jesus, we have new fellowship. We were without Christ, being aliens, strangers, had no hope, and without God in the world. That's where we were while we lived in the world. We lived a life of torment, no satisfaction, nobody to run to, to give us, to hold us, to help us, to strengthen us. But because of the blood of Jesus, we are no longer strangers. We are no longer alienated or apart from God. But he gave us that, uh, uh, brought us near unto him by the blood. Ephesians 2, 12 and 13. That shed blood of Jesus Christ breaks down the middle walls of partition. When Jesus sent his disciples out, the 12, he told them to go. Don't go any place else, but go to the lost sheep of Israel. So that left us out because we were Gentiles. But through his shed blood, he brought us all together. So there is no Greek, no Jew, no Gentiles. But all of us are one in Christ Jesus. So we can have fellowship not only with him, but we can have a loving, lasting fellowship with one another because we have the blood of Jesus. We have a new DNA running through our, our veins. We are born again. We are no longer lost. And that invitation through his blood is for whosoever will. You don't have to have no sudden status quo in society. It's not just for the rich and the famous, but for whosoever will. There are no poor. There are no rich, because all of us are rich in Christ Jesus. And the Lord is rich in mercy. To all who call upon his name. And such mercy is made possible by the shed blood of Christ. Thank God for the blood. It's his blood. Animal blood, goat's blood, ram's blood. It couldn't do. It didn't do. That's when Jesus had to come. And we can celebrate him. And we do celebrate him. Every day. Then the blood of Christ. Cleanses us from all sin. If we walk in the light. As he is in the light. We have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ. God's Son cleanses us from all sin. And not only just cleanses for that problem, it continues to. It's a continuation. 
The blood doesn't just wash and cleanse us for that one time. But it's an ongoing process when we let it. Ongoing. The blood of Christ, as we say, continues. He forgives our sin when we come to him and confess our sin. He doesn't just leave us out there to make it on our own or to do the best we can. But he is ever rejoicing over us. God is watching over us. He sees us and readily embrace us because of the blood. By the blood of Jesus, man is able to enter boldly to the presence of God. The blood of Jesus gives us access. We don't have to go to anybody else. We don't have to go to the priest. But we can go directly to the throne of grace. And we don't have to go uh, afraid. But we can be boldly. Go to the throne of grace. We can draw nigh unto him. By the blood. We can go into the holiness of holy. See it used to be only the priest could go. Behind the veil. But when Jesus died. My God. The veil was rent from top to bottom so everybody could come that desired to come. We can come to him, draw nigh to him with a heart full of assurance of faith according to Hebrews 10, 19 through 22. Praise God. We do not need to go to an earthly priest and tell him our desires. But we can tell God all things that it is in our heart, even confessions of our sins. But if we want joy, he'll give us joy. We want peace. We got the peace because of the blood of Jesus. My hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. We can carry all our troubles. Lay them at his feet. And sometimes we don't have to have any troubles. That's the great part about it. We don't have to be in no distress. We don't have to be in, in uh, uh, anything that troubles us. We can just go to him. Just have fellowship. Just love him. And let him love on you. Isn't that amazing? Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. It was grace that taught my heart to fear. And grace my fears released. How precious did that grace appear. The hour I first believed, what an amazing thing that was done for us through the blood of Jesus. We can't work for it. We didn't work for it. We had nothing to pay for it. But his love and all we can do is return it to him. What he has done for us. Then the blood of Jesus gives us victory over the devil. Revelations 12, 10 and 11 says, The accuser of our brethren is cast down, who accused us before God day and night. But then we overcame him by the blood of Jesus. And the words of our testimony. So devil get back. Jesus has done it all for me. I'm no longer in your grips. I'm no longer being ruled by you. Because the blood of Jesus has washed and cleansed me. And made me whiter than snow. Then the precious blood of Jesus we will never forget. 
we will never forget. We cannot forget as we go through this earth, praising him and glorifying him. But then it doesn't stop here. When we get before the throne, in the throne room of God, and we get in his presence, the Bible say we will praise him forever and ever. And we have a song that the angels can sing, can't not sing. Mm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we will sing a new song. Thou art worthy, O God, to take the book and to open the seals thereof. Thou art worthy, for thou wast slain and has redeemed us to God. By the blood. Oh, we, there's nothing too much that we can't say. This is just only the tip of the iceberg. Because there's so much more that the blood has done for us. And what we have. And we know that without the shedding of Jesus' blood, there was no forgiveness for our sin. And I want to say to you today, God loves you with an everlasting love. Those are just a few things that we can say of what we have because of the blood. Oh, there is more. There is more. But we, we just let that mellow. Let that mellow sink in your heart and think about it. And if you are not in the bosom of Jesus Christ. If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, today is the day of salvation. He has come to your house today. Ask God, forgive me, Lord, for my sins. I realize that you died for me on Calvary. Your shed blood, I receive it by faith today. Come into my heart. Live in me. Walk in me. Talk in me. Give me that new life. That peace that you have given, that you left for me. I receive it now in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord from whom all blessings flow. It's the blood. It's the blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. His blood, he has shed it. And it was already done before the foundation of the world. That's how much God loved us. Because we were in him. And he already knew our future. And the blood of Jesus has come to pardon us from all unrighteousness. Forgive us for our sins, past, present, and future. So he got you covered. The blood has you covered. Receive his blood. We love you. God bless you. And continue to feast and rejoice in what the blood, what we have because of the blood. In Jesus' name, thank you for tuning in to the broadcast. We pray that it may be another time. We can come back and give you the other part of what we have in the blood. Oh, it's amazing. It is so amazing. Don't miss it. Don't ignore it. Receive it with joy for heart today. In Jesus' name. See you next time. From the broadcast, Word on a Mission. Be blessed. Order Thoughts from the Heart for a deeper dive into God's Word with Mother Core. Available online at streamchannel7.tv.